as we're coming down the hillside in this field here, we're starting to come into some of this, this white flowering plant. Uh, this plant's in the parsnip family, it's very common. Uh, again, uh, this would be Queen Anne's lace, often called wild carrot. Uh, this might be another that you find along a roadside. Um, and poison hemlock is going to be a plant that we distinguish from. They're very closely related. They have, both have white flowering uh, uh, seed heads on them. Uh, and again, so this is wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace. It's not poisonous. Where that poison hemlock is known to be poisonous, and that's why we make that distinction. Uh, has very narrow leaves here, uh, and, and then the, the white flowers here. All right, we've uh, again Queen Anne's lace here, uh, right next to ironweed and some some clover here. Uh, we talked about Queen Anne's lace being related to poison hemlock. Uh, they're both biennials, so a lot of the growth on those biennials happens in the fall. You might not really be aware that you have it until you, you start seeing this flower. In this particular case, you could probably mow this off, and, and you're going to cut these uh, these flowers back, and that'll help you with some of your control. Um, but with those biennials, if you're thinking herbicide sprays, timing on that, like we said, is uh, you get that early vegetative growth in the fall. And that's typically the best time to be thinking about an herbicide control program.